everybody! So we're going to do Olivia's 10 month update today. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see her that well in this video because she's hiding back there. <laughs> um, well, she's in her pit because she can't handle to sit in my lap anymore and like watch me film because she always goes for the tripod and disasters always happen when she's not in there. <laughs> so, um, yep, yeah, we're going to do her 10 month update today. Um, she turned 10 months last Thursday or Friday and um, I don't, I'm not very organized so I don't really know where to start. For milestones, what has she done that she wasn't doing before? I would just say every month she just reaches like a new level of mobility and I don't think you can see her. There's the baby! I'll sit her in my lap in the end. It's hard making videos these days. I'm sorry. I was just kind of taking an internet break. I just really needed it. And yeah, it's hard getting back in the groove now. <laughs> um, she's just getting more social now. She's starting to get very flirtatious. Whenever she was like, when we were in town, whenever we would see strangers and stuff, she would be like, she would do this little head thing. Like, it was so cute. Um, so yeah, she's definitely getting more sociable. Um, she's just really, really sweet. She's just very pretty happy and content baby most of the time. Um, we are still co-sleeping right now and um, we were having some issues with that for a little while, but it seems to be going a lot better now. She's only waking up like once in the night, like the past three or four days and that's been amazing. Oh, that's another one of her new things. Everything, everything that she sees is, oh, and she just looks so excited about the world. Like she's just at that phase where she's just so excited about the world. And she had her first cold about a week and a half ago and that was no fun, but it was really quick. Like we were just in town and then we noticed that she was really, really hot. Like, I've never felt her be so hot. Like, she was like glowing hot. And um, she was starting to like act really different. Like, she was starting to just kind of fall asleep on her own, which she does not do. She usually puts up a little fit before she goes to sleep. So we went to get a thermometer while we were in town, like one of those ones in the ear. And she had a fever of like 102.5. And that freaked me out. We went home right away and we called my husband's dad who's a doctor. I wanted to just take her to the hospital because I wasn't sure what to do because that just seemed like a really high fever to me for a baby. Um, but the, his dad, my husband's dad said it wasn't necessary um, unless she was acting completely out of it. Um, which she started acting really normal after she had some milk and when she just sort of got home, she was completely normal and playing like normal and everything. She just had a fever and a little cough. So um, the fever lasted like, I'm gonna say a day and a half and then it went back to normal and she just had a bit of a stuffy nose left over. Um, so, which is gone now as well. It was really quick. I'm really happy because like we have friends whose babies have gotten sick and like, it just seemed like they were having a really hard time kicking the virus and they just kept getting sick over and over again. And um, Olivia's only been sick this one time. So yeah, she's officially had her first virus and I think she handled it very, very well. Her body definitely got rid of it really quickly and it's really times like those as well that I'm so happy we're breastfeeding because like there's antibodies in the milk and it just made me feel so good about like you know just feeding her very frequently during that time so I was really grateful and my supply like really responded to her like really up in needs very very quickly which I was also very grateful for because I thought it was like not gonna kick up um, because usually it takes like two or three days for your supply to to rise once the baby starts eating more frequently, but like it happened right away. I was like so surprised how many letdowns I was able to pull off during that time. What else is she doing? I feel like I'm gonna like film this and then regret that I didn't say something exciting. Oh, she's waving now and um, she has been saying a couple things after us. She did say ball after hubby said ball to her, but she said it in kind of a German way, which is like Ball or something like that. Um, she says Mama, she says Num Num, which means milk. She wants milk. Uh, every time she's hungry, she goes Num 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 Num, like every time. So I'm pretty sure that she's learned 
Um, cause I always say num num whenever she gets food. I'm like, do you want num num? So I think she learned that that's, that means boo. And so she always says num 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 when she's hungry. She doesn't say it for actual like solid food, but she does say it for boobs. Another word, oh, dot. We were saying dot. Our guinea pig's name is Dot. And um, she repeated it after us a few times. She goes, da, da, da. She doesn't really say the T, but she goes, da, da, dot. Can you say dot? Dot? She's got something in her mouth. Um, yeah, so she's doing really well. I can definitely tell that she's understanding us more and more. And um, I think it's not going to be too much longer till she's walking just because she's got really good balance and stuff. It's more a matter of if she's willing to, you know, let go of something, you know what I mean? Like she's just kind of not quite there security wise. And from what I've researched, like girls, they tend to be a little bit more careful than boys as well. Like. They tend to kind of think about their actions before doing them as opposed to just plunging head first. So I feel like she's like that. She's very cautious and she really thinks things through before she she does it. So yeah, but I definitely think she could walk if, if she wanted to, but she's just not quite there um, security wise yet. So all right, I think that that's gonna be it. I think we're gonna go and I'll go ahead and bring Olivia up in my lap so you guys can see her. Here she is. <laughs> there she is making her oh, oh face. Oh. Say. <laughs> Say. Oh. <laughs> she's not gonna do it. Come on, it's funny. Oh, she's being a flirt. See, I told you she's like. <laughs> yeah, so she's looking super cute as usual, as you guys can see. Her hair is darkening. I'm really I don't know if it's gonna get super dark like mine, but her hair is starting to darken and so is her eyebrows and her skin as well. She's getting kind of an olive skin, um, but it's difficult to say where it's going to go because from my understanding, most Caucasian babies, or not most, but a lot of Caucasian babies have blonde hair when they're toddlers and then it darkens up later, but hers is getting much darker lately. I'm not really sure. There's still a lot of like kind of dark blonde in it, but I'd say the overall color is turning out to be brown so we'll see oh <laughs> my little flirt she's so cute say oh come on it's funny <laughs> she has her dad's face like totally look look at her okay am I suck on the finger <laughs> all right well, I guess we're gonna go and you guys saw the oh face in the beginning so bye say bye look Olivia what are you looking at? Bye!